are just doing an impartation for everybody that's here. And um, I want to lay hands on every person that's in here. We're just going to do an impartation like that. So why don't you turn with me real quick. It's going to start with worship. Amen. And Psalm 29 says this. It says, Give to the Lord, O mighty ones. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due His name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of His holiness. It says, Give unto the Lord, O mighty ones. It says to give again. Some say, I got to give again. So I say, I don't just give once, I give again. Give to the Lord glory and strength. It's asking us to give glory to the Lord. And then it says again, it says, Give to the Lord. So there's a third time saying, Give to the Lord the glory. Once again, giving Him the glory. Do His name. And how do we do that? It gives us a key here. It says that we worship the Lord in the splendor of His holiness. I tell you this, that worship isn't just something that we do when we come here on Sunday or we come here on Wednesday or we come during camp meeting in the sessions. It's not just, that's not just the worship that God's looking for. He's looking that we would literally become a worship before Him, that everything we do would be a worship before Him, that everything we do would be giving glory to His name. Hallelujah. There's a reason why God's asking for you to give unto Him the glory, do His name, because the Bible says this, that according to whatever a man sows, that what's, that's what he's also going to reap. And so the, the Bible's telling us this, that God is desiring for His people to give Him the glory, because as you begin to sow the glory, it's going to be glory that pours down on your life. Hallelujah. As you begin to sow of the glory, it's going to be the glory that you reap. Sister Ruth used to say this, as you sow to the heavens, God sows back unto the earth. Hallelujah. And I, I believe that God is wanting a people in this day that would sow, just be continual sowers, continual worshipers, continual givers of glory unto the heavenly realm. That God would pour back the greatest glory we've ever known down in verse 10 of Psalm 29 it says that the Lord sits enthroned over the flood the Lord is enthroned as king forever the Lord gives back because <laughs> when you give you can't help but God give back to you <laughs> it says that the Lord gives strength to his people and then the Lord comes and he blesses his people with peace I tell you this we give but God always gives more hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was a word tonight that the sister brought about a fire. She saw a fire coming in this place and then she saw as a hand almost and then she saw that we were being transformed and touched by that consuming fire, being consumed by the fire. And Job said it like this. He said, when I've been tried by fire, when I've been tested by fire, <laughs> I come forth as gold. Hallelujah. I believe that God's looking for a golden people. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's calling you to be the golden ones. Amen. Those that would be consumed by His fire to such a degree that our life would emanate the purity of His presence and the purity of His glory. Why don't you stand and worship? Just lift up your hands under the heavens in this place. Lift up your hands in glory. Lift up your hands in worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eternity, the realm of 
being lifted up. I'm being lifted up. I'm being lifted up. I'm being lifted up. I'm being lifted up to the glory realm. To behold your face, to see your glory, the angels that surround your throne, the cherubim and the seraphim and the living creatures, the cherubim and the seraphim and the living creatures, hey, oh, the cherubim and the seraphim and the living creatures.
glory round Come on, just lift up your hands In the realm, just lift up your hands In that cloud, lift your hands Unto the maker of heaven and earth Lift up your hands to the heavens That's where your help comes from Lift up your hands unto the glory. Lift up your hands unto the cloud. Lift up your hands unto the realm that's greater than you. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and surrender unto the realm, the spirit of glory. Lift up your hands. Chronicles 5 verse 13 says that the trumpeters and the singers joined in unison as with one voice to give praise and to give glory and to give thanks to the Lord accompanied by trumpets and cymbals and other instruments they raised their voices in praise to the Lord and they sang he is good his love endures forever they lifted a worship before the Lord and it rose unto the Lord as a sweet smelling fragrance the Bible says at that point the temple of the Lord was filled with a cloud the, the temple of the Lord was filled with the very essence of his presence the cloud of glory the smoke the smoke the smoke of his presence and the priests could not perform their service because of the cloud for the glory of the Lord filled the temple of God. Tonight as we lift up our voices unto God tonight, as we lift up a worship before Him, the very cloud of His presence, that same essence of who He is, the very goodness, the greatness of His glory comes into this place. And with it comes impartation, with it comes the mist of miracles. <laughs> Oh, the mist of miracles, the very cloud, the weighty kabod of God filled with miracle signs and wonders. In Psalm 3, David said, Oh Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, oh God, you, you are a shield around me, oh Lord. You bestow glory on me. You pour out your glory 
on me. You cause your glory to flow upon my life. You cause the very cloud of your presence to touch me in ways that nobody else can. You cause the miracles to touch me. God, you bestow glory on me. And you lift up my head. You are the glory. And you are the lifter. You're my glory. And you're the one that lifts me up. You are my glory. And you're my enablement. You are my glory. And you are my lifter. <laughs> Tonight you are the glory. And you are the lifter. You're causing me to go to places I've never been before. You're causing me to rise in realms of the heavens that I've never touched before. You're causing me to be lifted in the realm of the Spirit. Oh God, you are the glory. And you are my lifter. You're the glory and the lifter of my head. And you anoint my head with fresh oil to such a degree that my cup is running over running over with blessing running over with abundance running over with prosperity there's prosperity angels tonight in this place ministering financial breakthroughs <laughs> ministering healing for your finances healing for your bank account healing for your mortgages hallelujah <laughs> oh there's prosperity angels with cars hallelujah <laughs> there's prosperity angels with furniture there's prosperity angels caring for i see prosperity angels carrying bags of groceries in this place there's prosperity angels for every need, every need, there's angels in this place that God is releasing from the heavenly realm with divine supernatural gifts, divine supernatural blessing, divine supernatural abundance. There's angels of healing tonight in this place. I saw God coming and healing, even ministering healing to somebody's lungs. There's somebody who's had a problem in your lung. A problem with breathing is like there, it's been a difficulty to breathe. And there's healing that's coming to you tonight. There's somebody else that you've had problems with indigestion. And God is releasing healing angels tonight in this place to touch you in your area of need. There's somebody else you've been lactose intolerant. But there's there's angels in this place, ministering angels, those ministering spirits of God, ministering healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody else, you're getting healed in your right leg, that some, somewhere around your thigh. I'm not even sure what it is, but somewhere around your thigh. <laughs> oh, shalabam brebe, vovovo, bravo, seve, bebe, bravo, rasha karaman, seve, brebe, robovam, bravo, seve, seve, bravo, bravo. Glory, glory. Somebody said ringing in their ears. The ringing goes tonight. The ringing goes tonight. The ringing in the ears goes tonight. It goes, it goes, it goes. It goes, it goes, it goes. Shatalabase, rababashamamabasebe. You bestow glory on me, O Lord. You bestow your glory upon me. Come here, sister. There's an encounter for you tonight. <laughs> yeah, there's an encounter of His glory. There's an encounter. There's an encounter. There's an encounter in the presence of Jehovah. <laughs> yeah, in the presence of Almighty God. Just continue to worship. Just continue to lift up your voice. Hallelujah. 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 Brother, God says to you that you shall be taught of the Lord. <laughs> oh, yes, you shall be taught of the Lord. You shall be taught of the Lord. And He shall bring he shall bring unto you divine supernatural knowledge, divine supernatural understanding and wisdom. 
And God says that he's called you for areas where you said, God, I don't even have the equipment. God, I'm not, I don't even in the natural, I'm not, I don't have the ability or the enablement to do what you called me to do. But God says that I am the one that shall teach you. I am the one that shall instruct you. You shall be taught of the Lord. You shall be taught of the glory. You should be taught of the glory. Taught of the glory. Divine supernatural experience. Divine supernatural miracles. Unusual signs, unusual wonders. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Divine supernatural. To become a living testimony, a living sign, and a living wonder. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Oh, you shall carry the glory. <laughs> oh, yes, you shall carry the glory. You shall carry the cloud, for the cloud is within, and the cloud surrounds, and the cloud is upon you even in this day. And God says that you shall carry the very cloud of my glory into the places that you go. And God says that you don't even know the fullness of that which I have for you. For I shall open the doors, and I shall bring divine supernatural opportunity. I shall cause a golden pathway <laughs> to unfold fold before you. I shall cause there to be a road of blessing and a road of abundance before you that you shall follow me. You shall follow the cloud. You shall follow my spirit. And as you follow my spirit, my miracles, my signs, my wonders, they shall follow you for there shall be revelation that comes unto you that you've never had before, that you've never known before. Oh yes, there shall be great revelation. There shall be great revelation that comes as a cloud abides within and as a cloud abides upon. And even for France, there shall be breakthrough. <laughs> oh yes, even in Paris, there shall be breakthrough that comes as my glory resides and as my glory abides for you shall speak my glory and you shall be my glory and you shall demonstrate my glory in the places that you go and it shall bring victory and it shall bring breakthrough. Do not be surprised at that which I shall do through you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, just lift up your hands into the cloud. Just lift up your hands into the cloud. The cloud is here. <laughs> His miracles are here. Whatever you need tonight, you just reach out and you receive them. Whatever you have need of tonight, you just reach out and you receive them. Whatever you have need of tonight, just reach out and receive what God has for you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's healing in marriages tonight. There's healing for marriages tonight. It's not a miracle that comes by man, but it's that which comes from our living God it's that which only he can do it's not that which can be done by the hand of a man but it's that which comes from the very hand of God reach out and take his hand tonight reach out and take his hand hook up to the heavens tonight reach out and take his hand you grab hold of him through your worship you grab hold of him to your praise, you get, grab hold of him as you sow to the heavens. He comes, he sows 
to the earth. Hallelujah. 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 Right now I'm wanting to move into an impartation. If I could have some people help me to get rose, we're going to do this. The Bible says decently and in order, whatever that means. <laughs> Just stay in your seat right now. Just stay in your seat. Yeah. I want everybody to go back to your seat right now. If you just take a seat. Stay in the spirit of worship. Stay in that spirit of glory. Don't get out of the cloud. Hallelujah. The cloud's within. <laughs> What I want to do is I want to pray for the camp staff first. I want to minister to the camp staff first. So if you're on staff with the camp, I want you to come forward and I want you to line up all the way from that wall, all the way right across, just along the front. And I'm going to need some men to help me catch some, some men that can come along and just serve in that way. It's a wonderful place to be because you get the double portion. <laughs> <laughs> you get the runoff from everybody else. <laughs> and then you're going to get some for yourself too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Single file. We're going to need everybody just single file or else you're going to fall into somebody else. Hallelujah. Everybody just continue to worship. Just continue to look unto God. Just continue to look unto Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice in a worship unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you all in line to be prayed for? You're going to catch. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah.
that we will be able to get everyone. If you do fall in the spirit, that we want you to, but in a few minutes, we're going to come and get you up so others will be able to line up. If you've already been prayed for, then go back to your seats and we'll start in this measure. If I could get some of the men, just go out and get these up just very easily. Just get them up and tell them to go back. Be careful with her, with her food. She's not steady. Wonderful. And starting on this side right here, one row at the time, come and we will line you up to middle ways right here. Alan, can you help me? You're going to be middle. So if you come and line up here and on this side,